Okay, now I think it should be working. Is it working, you guys? Is she working? Is she working? I think she's working. Ugh, I want to set this thing. So yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I have just been going through so many, like, mental changes. And I don't know if it's just, like, my hormones acting up or what, but, like, I honestly am so sick of men that just want to fuck trans girls literally just because of their genitalia. It's, like, A, what's wrong with you? And B, like, How do you see me then? Because if you're so focused on like my, my male parts or I don't know anything that's like remotely that it's like so then you must see me as like a guy or something like it's so weird but I'm trying not to like let these guys get to me because I feel like I'm the only one that can, can can control the type of guys that I talk to, guys that I even give my energy to, and somehow I devote way too much energy to guys. And I'm sure my friends know that, anyone that's close to me knows that, I don't know, I... I'm human. I am like anyone else. I like to have sex. I like to go on dates. I like to feel special. Uh, a lovely man. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But what is wrong is that I let these men hurt my feelings. And that's not okay. Because at the end of the day, I'm in control of how I feel. I'm in control of what I tolerate and what I don't tolerate. I'm in control of letting things get to me and letting things not get to me, you know? And I just feel like, fuck, like, when am I ever just gonna be you know when am I just gonna be like okay and I think I think a lot of my energy is kind of like internalized pain or internalized I don't know not necessarily what's present but things that have happened to me in the past or things that happen to me daily I always assume is the next day or the next person you know a big part of being trans is like you always assume that people are against you or that people are not accepting you for who you are or they're treating you a certain way because you're trans or they're looking at you a certain way because you're trans or whatever, you know? But it's like, in reality, that's all in my mind. And I need to stop being in my head. I need to focus on my life, my goals, what's right in front of me. Nobody is right in front of me right now. So what the fuck am I concentrating on trying to attract people to to be there like you know what I mean oh my fat's hanging out how dare you but you know 
I'm trying to push through. I'm trying to stay strong, especially for all of you guys who follow me and are inspired by things I do. I don't want you ever to think that being transgender is a dangerous lifestyle because it's not. It's just different and it takes a lot of willpower and it takes a lot of dedication to your body, to your mind, to your spirit as a woman, as a trans woman and not letting anybody take that away from you. Nobody can tell you who you are. Nobody can tell you what you want. And nobody definitely should be telling you who you are. If you think I'm a man, that's your own insecurities. Sure, I might have biologically been born a boy, but at the end of the day, honey, that's not how I present myself. That's not what my legal documents say. That's not what my family says to me when I go home for Christmas. So what are you saying to me right now? You know, it's like, can we just get over the whole, like, oh, you're a dude thing tonight? Like, I was going to meet this guy that I have met online, and he was like, because you guys know I smoke weed. I mean, there's no denying that. I think I've always been open about it. I also live in L.A., so weed is legal there. And so I told him, I was like, well, you know, like, I don't really drink, but I do smoke weed and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, okay, um, you know, whatever. And then he texts me and he's like, oh, do you do anything else besides weed? I was like, no. I was like, like, what? And he was like, oh, like cocaine or, or meth? I was like, um, no, are you fucking kidding me? Like do I look like I do any of those things? And that was me jumping to the assumption that A, he thought that I was asking or, or, or that was me jumping to the con conclusion that he was insinuating that that's what I was asking him for or that maybe I was interested in that. The fact of the matter is that he said, well, I'm here in Vegas, that's all that I know. Trans women here, they, they do math and they like to party. And I said, well, sweetie, let me tell you something. I'm not all trans women. So, that put a bad taste in my mouth. The conversation then escalated to him basically saying how I was in the wrong for this and that and oh he was sorry for accusing me and whatever the bottom of the line is the conversation went bad and the last words to him meanwhile this is a guy who is online looking for a trans woman and had the nerve to say <laughs> well honey I don't care about what the fuck you're saying you're a fucking dude and he hung up on me and you know what, I just, like, had to stop and think for a second, like, if you're calling me a dude, then that must mean that you, what? I had a feeling that you weren't gay because you said that you don't mess with dudes. So, obviously, you never saw me as a dude. But when you had the opportunity to be rude to me and try to say things that hurt me, you use the transness as a way to backfire, as a way to insult, as a way to create friction, negative energy. When at the end of the day, you like trans women, so what is the problem? Do you guys understand where I'm coming from? It's like, I just, I don't, I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get these men that are into tea girls. It's like, 
when am I just gonna like be able to find a man who likes women and we happen to stumble across each other and they happen to be trans and it's not a big deal for him that's my ideal type of man not some fucking guy that's gonna have the nerve to ever use the fact that I'm trans against me but at the same time what does that say about you I just don't get it you guys and I guess maybe I've just had a stressful two days and not stressful but I don't know when I come on these trips and I'm alone on these gigs it's like I always feel like I have to fill my time. I always feel like, oh my god, you're in another place, you're in another country, you're in another... Like, get out there, meet people, like, do stuff, like, whatever. But it's like, you know, sometimes it's just it's just okay to just chill and, 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 and sit in your being. And I, t and I know that. But this game that I'm in, I have to always be on the go. I always have to be creating new things. I always have to be doing new videos. And sometimes I don't have the time just to be and not have to worry about impressing people or seeking attention from men or validation from men to validate me as a girl, you know? It's so weird, but I guess at the end of the day it makes a lot of sense, and... I guess only time will tell, so... I am thinking of doing a hashtag 30 days in transition, which is a hashtag that consists of a post on Instagram every single day um, elaborating on a certain topic um, about being transgender or my journey. It's actually an original idea from Cassandra, my friend Cassandra, who actually did the hashtag 30 days in transition. She inspired me and now I'm really seeing the need for it every day just as I am becoming more into my journey becoming more familiar with my transness becoming more familiar with my body with my state of mind I have a lot to tell you guys I have a lot to tell the world I have a lot to educate people on and the world has so much work to do in terms of being a humane society and accepting everybody as they are. It, it really doesn't matter who you are, how you identify, how you live your life. It's just about respect. And I think sometimes I'm even guilty of that. Because I know sometimes I can be disrespectful. But I'm working on it. And I also feel like as I continue to work on myself, I'll only get more answers. I'll only be able to help more people. I'll only help be able to help more trans people who need help. I'll only be able to help you guys who have so many questions about the lifestyle and another thing that I'm really finding necessary and really thinking about doing is going and educating queer spaces queer businesses bars clubs venues restaurants and gay whatever it is LGBT education on what it means to serve this community there's so many heterosexual people that are working in 
my world and our world that have no idea what trans is, what a drag queen is, what a cross-dresser is, what a transvestite is, what a gay boy is. They think it just like all runs together as being like some sort of freaks. Honey, it's not. It's not. And if you're in these spaces getting your bills paid, I think that you owe it to yourself to be addressing people in the proper way and not assuming that you know what's going on in their life. Because at the end of the day, nowadays, there's 40 plus different types of ways of identifying your gender and your sexuality. We need to be very conscious and we need to be very careful in which the way that we're approaching people. Just because somebody looks like a boy doesn't necessarily mean that that's how they want you to address them or assume that they live their life. No. 2018, we can't do that. We cannot assume anything about anyone's life. The only thing that we can do is focus on our own life and try to stay enlightened on other walks of life. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to seek other walks of life. But I want you guys to know it's difficult. And I'm having some trouble doing that. Because I know what it's going to take. I know what it's going to require. And that's going to require me being alone being uncomfortable, taking risks, being embarrassed, being whatever, because new experiences are scary. New environments are scary. But what's also scarier is never breaking outside of that box that we limit ourselves to. It's scarier to look back and say, I wish I would have done this, this, and that. I don't want to have to look back. And that's why I started my transition. Because I was tired of wondering what it was like to live this life. I was tired of wondering what it was like to try to be a girl. Because... I realized, honey, I'm not trying to look like a girl. I'm not trying to be a girl. I am a girl. Period. Regardless of what I'm going to do with my genitalia, that's none of your business. And that's certainly a ways down the road. And only I can make those decisions and be in touch with that. So, don't worry about what surgeries I'm getting or what I'm going to end up doing. Just follow me on my journey. Continue to support me. And I promise you that I will continue to be the person that I, you guys are seeing me to be. And... I can only hope for more positive influences, more opportunities. I'm looking for more opportunities, and I don't mean gigs, I don't mean all Stars 4. I mean, the world is large. Life is short. There's so much out there. And as a trans woman, I have so much to offer this world. Because we too are smart. We're not just shows and rhinestones and big lashes and, you know, all that. We're smart people too. 
Honey, look at me. I was biologically born a male. And I think I'm doing a pretty fucking good job at living my truth. And I want all of you guys to continue to live your truth to every single day. So that you don't have to ever look back and say, Well, I wish I would have done this. Because the only thing that you'll be wishing for... I can now start to live my life, but know that Life is complicated. Life is complicated and blessings are not given out every day. So, please just remember everything I said. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. And if you... Yes, I am. I am full-time girl. Transgender. And also very proud. So if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you have any comments, you know my inbox is always open. So thank you guys. <laughs> what do I got to pay for? <laughs> just, just so they got to pay for my time, oh, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're here at Drag Brunch here in live. Vegas. Hi. Hi. Baby, Miss Chanel said, honey, what did you tell me? I said, Gia is a hormone away from fucking pregnant. <laughs> no, but what so is <laughs> And I said, I want hormone away from being hard. <laughs> not erect hard, not erect yes, hard. Yes, Miss Kahara. But look, what a feminine flower. Look Just at Miss like Coco. Okay, y'all, we're going out I'm to the main and greet. <laughs> No, but Chanel said, y'all need to know about the Vegas brunch. Y'all need to know about the Vegas brunch. Vegas brunch is the motherfucking tea. tea. We're here at Vegas brunch at Senor Frog. Over here off the strip. And we're feeling gorgeous. Look at her. Oh, they already up there taking pictures. Oh, look at the girls. Look at all the girls. Oh my god. Oh, they're the, they're all ready. Go look at all the fish. Where do I fit? Where we get our meeting read on. Oh, we gotta get back. Where do I go? Man, there's a show. Who the birthday is it? Look at all the beautiful women. Yes. Say hi, Instagram. I want y'all to feel 